For the first time in more than a decade, Delta Burke is opening up about her years on one of TV's most beloved sitcoms, The Designing Women Star. 67, appeared on the Glamorous Trash podcast with Chelsea Devantes on April 19 and discussed her five-season run on the hit show, as well as her 1998 memoir, Delta Style. Eve wasn't a size 6 and neither am I. Burke exited Designing Women in 1991, reportedly over a high-profile disagreement with the show's creator, Linda Bloodworth Thomason, whom she claimed had psychologically abused her, along with Bloodworth Thomason's husband, Harry Thomason. It got ugly and very sad, she told Devantes of how the dream TV role went downhill with time that we do designing women, and I'm so happy to be there. I love everything. But then things started to change, which I won't go into. But that, combined with becoming famous, that I simply couldn't cope with, Burke continued of the show, in which she starred alongside Annie Potts, Jean Smart and the late Dixie Carter. And I wanted to leave and I wasn't allowed to leave. She noted that she loved how her character, Suzanne Sugarbaker, evolved on the show over the course of five seasons, and that remaining on the sitcom gave her an amazing character to get to play, grow older and fatter with, which is something that she said she treasures despite the difficulties, speaking to her relationship with Bloodworth Thomason, whom she'd worked with prior to the sitcom on Filthy Rich and went on to work with again on Women of the House, Burke said it's a love-hate. Dynamic, I love her very much, I admire a lot that she's done, I'm very thankful for everything that she's done for me, but there's other issues. Well, basically, we tried to kill each other, but you know, we survived.